What up, folks? Jay here, uh, back again with uh, another travel video in Paris. So today, gonna do a bit of sightseeing. Plan to go to the Palace of Versailles and also uh, the Foundation exhibit, uh, a part of the LVMH group. So those three at a minimum. And then on top of that as well, try to squeeze in uh, going to this cool gallery. Like it's very like glass stained dome uh, gallery Lafayette and then potentially if I have time uh, I was gonna do something else I forgot it's on the tip of my tongue I'll figure it out but for today um, you know how in one of these other videos I was having an issue with uh, the bus ticket so thank God uh, when you buy those bus tickets uh, for the Paris traveling one um, they had the date on it because last time I went through, the dude didn't look at that, so they just amended it, restamped the dates of the days that I needed, and it's all sorted. Uh, no receipt required. But yeah, uh, just going to the loop right now. I didn't get tickets online, so it's gonna be a little hectic. Hopefully there's no long of a wait, but wanna see two uh, artworks, the Mona Lisa, which there was like some news on IG where someone kind of just like slap some cake on there and then a Venus to Milo and then yeah we'll go from there. Stay tuned. Go to uh, Metro <laughs> number one. Let's get it. Don't want to go here. Let's get it. Yeah, we're almost at uh, the loop. Comes in two minutes. So just exiting out. Know where we need to go? I, let me just Google Map this beer back. Just gonna follow this crowd here. Pretty cool, I see the Louvre Pyramid in front. Let's get it. Wow. This is an insane square. Okay, now we have to figure out how to uh, how to get inside. Let's get it. So, in the line for the Louvre, so there's two queues. Uh, there's a line on the other side for 11.30. And then this line here, which it seems like it's like legit two to three hours, honestly speaking. Um, yeah, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. That's a long line. Uh, I regret not buying it online, but hopefully this queue goes really quickly. Stay tuned. So after queued up for like an hour, uh, we're almost in the... Literally started over there, that other pyramid. There's like three queues, one for 11, one for 12. But yeah. Almost in and uh, finally get to enjoy the sights. 
But this is brutal. I, I definitely would recommend getting it. Uh, skip the line tickets. Both honestly seem the same thing, but except for one is like for preset time. But yeah, I'm okay with that. But go in and uh, see some sights. Seems like you gotta go through a security check, so you move bags. <laughs> I'll put this down. Alrighty, let's go in. Final freaking Lee. Now we need to, uh, Purchase tickets to actually go in. I'm probably gonna get a drink, honestly. I'm just so thirsty. But you see some Mona Lisa sampler. Woo! Let's go. Yeah, this museum looks pretty massive. I'm gonna get a drink first, let's get that, and then we'll start walking around. These are their prices for their food and drinks. I'm gonna get a San Pellegrino. And go from there. It's at the lead. Got two drinks here. They're not even cold, but whatever. Let's start off with the orange drink. And then I'll save this one for when I'm walking around. Funjania. Oh, It's like a Minute Maid, Minute Maid San Pellegrino, but not sparkling. sand pellet in the orange drink it makes it really fizzy but yeah so in the loop it took 45 minutes an hour 15 to get in so I'm gonna walk around obviously this apparently takes like two two hours plus so, I'll try to go through it just because I want to hit up Palace of Versailles afterwards. Anyways, stay tuned as we uh, go around together. So, in the ground floor, I believe uh, I just found a room that says tickets, so I'm gonna go and purchase a few and go from there. So they got some ground rules here. So it closes up 5.30, it's uh, 15 euros for entrance, 5 dollars for an audio guide. That's pretty much the map of things. There's another floor. Another floor. Oh my god, three floors. It's massive. I saw that there's no flash photography 
Don't touch the artworks. Um, be courteous to staff. No flash photography if I haven't already said that. Oh yeah, and be careful of hip hop kids. So, I believe on the other side they have a queue for other ones as well. I'll ask them to see how much that is. Already be right back. Alright, so I decided to go in for the, the Paris Museum Pass, so it probably has like a jumbled bit like the Louvre, the uh, Palace of Versailles, and probably another one as well. So probably best to iron out getting that now rather than getting it later. Maybe there's some savings, I don't know. One stop shop. Stay tuned. Alrighty folks, so just bought the ticket. Can I head now? Let's get it. So entrance to the museum is this way. After that long ordeal, got the tickets. I'm gonna get a map. Go from there. So they got Chinese, Korean, French. Got an English one. When, uh, so the, back there is the exit. So I believe the entrance is probably going to be up the uh, escalator there. Let's go. So it begins. Merci. Au revoir. Right, so we're in the Sully Wing right now. So Sully Wing is uh, levels 0 and 1. Egyptian antiques, antiquities. Level minus 1 is cabinet prints and drawings. Level 1 is Decorative Arts of Europe, Near Eastern Antiquities. Level 1, Greek. So this is a massive thing. So I'm actually skipping the Sully Wing. I'm gonna go to the Denon Wing. So I want to see the Mona Lisa. I also want to see the Gallery of like up that long. Uh, because I mean, like I I went to Italy. I saw the Roman arch architect, uh, Roman architecture, and uh, marble figures. Denon Wing is the most packed, as you can tell. Thank you. Yep. I'll show you a visual of the Denon Wing, uh, just to give a broader idea. It opens up very nicely. This is the Denon Wing. Probably gonna see it in Napoleon's depart apartment. Um, yeah, so we can go to one first. Yeah, when you enter, it seems like it just splits off into three. So it doesn't really matter. 
because at the end I want to catch this area first. Wow, the interior is insane. You see some sculptures here? Sing through this museum real quick, but we got uh, the winged victory of Sma Samurai. Trying to get to Napoleon's apartment here. I think we're getting close. Oh, we got the Mona Lisa. They're so relaxed here when it comes to filming the paintings. I mean, like, if you do a comparison, like this versus, like, Italy, there's, like, alarms going on. Stay tuned. As I'm just going through this rapidly, I'm gonna get to the Mona Lisa here. Because all these other ones, like, they're cool and all. But I want to see Mona Lisa. Hold on.
This one looks pretty intense, actually. I believe the Mona Lisa is in here because there's a big crowd. So what I'm going to do is, I see a little poster here. Trying to get a view of the Mona Lisa here. Wow. Some pretty awesome. After queuing up in this line over here, <laughs> try to get a straight shot for y'all. <laughs> Please take one or two pictures, okay? Ready, folks? That's great. Guys, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to be able to do this. Sorry. Uh, Merci. You can go. Merci. Oh, Jared.
Uh, Napoleon's apartment? This way. This way. No, no. This is the building you can see through the window. Oh, so other this side? Way, yeah, to the Wind Victory. On your left, you go straight. Then At the end of the gallery, on the left. And you go on from Sully to Richard Dubu. Merci. Have a good day. Do I look like I belong? <laughs> Seems like Napoleon. Let's head to Napoleon's apartment.
Finishing that Napoleon exhibit. Look at the ceiling here. Ooh. Insane, insane. Round two. Crazy looking ceiling here. direction to find Napoleon's department. Just go down these halls. And make a right. Here, Napoleon the third department. We got a queue for the washroom as well. Hey.
Howdy folks, it's Jay here. If you're new, click subscribe. If you're returning, appreciate you. So this is a recap review of the Louvre Museum in Paris, France. So I've been to like grand museums, for example, like in Italy, the Uffizi Gallery, where just like you see the marble statues, um, paintings. But anyways, in Paris itself, I really liked how you could see Napoleon's apartments, um, just the portraits of Louis XIV, uh, the Queens, and uh, Napoleon itself. So I just found that to be quite uh, over the top with those portraits of generals, the leaders of the past. Uh, just how everything is arranged, it's just so massive. They have so many awesome pieces of art um what stood out to me t for me personally was uh napoleon's coronation uh, it's like a big one and there's like uh the mona lisa of course and um yeah there's just so many pieces that it's just like i was so mind blown um i really liked there was like a scene there where there was like some stained glass stuff. There was like some marble statues of some fighting scenes, chariots. And then after there was like a Egyptian section. So it was crazy for me to see. But just in general though, uh, I was taken aback. Breathtaking pieces. Um, I think I, I rushed it just because there was like one scene I really wanted to see the Napoleon apartments uh, where he uh, resided in 
Um, yeah, just the red velvet, the gold, the chandelier. And there's like a Napoleon's like uh, hallway as well. I don't know the formal name, but just everything in general. The Louvre is pretty great. Uh, one drawback, I didn't get tickets ahead of time, so I ended up waiting quite a bit of time. Um, after waiting outside, had to get tickets inside, and then just like walk, walk, walk. But yeah, there's, I believe, like four floors and then like two sides of each floor. It's such a massive museum. Um, such rich with history. The building's nice. There's like pyramids such. But yeah, uh, I would recommend it. And uh, again, if you're new, click subscribe. If you're returning, appreciate you. And uh, yeah, all I could say is excellent pieces of art. Mona Lisa was great. Uh, Napoleon Apartments was great. And uh, just everything in general would go back and do it again. But I would buy the ticket online. But yeah, uh, take care, signing off, and bye for now.